We're in Cadet, Missouri on the staging grounds at Haunted Ridge Rocks. Haunted Ridge Rocks is about an hour south of St. Louis, Missouri. This boulder alone is estimated to weigh about 3,500 pounds. It's mostly calcite and quartz. And then this boulder here, or actually a huge geode with multi pockets all through it, is uh, basically cold water agate filled with druzy quartz. We ended up filling up three buckets uh, for the five gallon pails with uh, druzy quartz and root beer calcite and cold water agate it was just a treasure trove of uh, great stuff that we'll clean off later uh, with a power washer it took a lot of cleaning <laughs> we were taken over to agate hill which was just amazing uh, these things just pop out of the ground um, and have done that for so many years that they're just sitting there um, all over the place. Cold water agate with druzy quartz, uh, geodes basically, striated uh, layers all through these rocks. They're really just incredible to look at and they're at your fingertips. We learned very quickly to flip over the flat rocks because on the other side there's often a nice surprise so um yeah this is just one feature of haunted ridge rocks in cadet missouri the other one is root beer ridge and that is full of that's druzy quartz right on top and of course that is in cold water agate you can see the striations all over it but yeah root beer ridge is another one uh over by the mud the pits and uh, yield some beautiful root beer calcite crystals. And keep in mind, this entire area is situated over an ancient volcano. Uh, so this is the caldera, and they found some um, sinkholes <laughs> occurring, and they're getting bigger. So uh, the terrain is fascinating. Uh, Greg has had some geologists look at the area and determine that indeed it was or is um, the caldera of an ancient volcano with lava bubbles basically just blooping through the lava constantly and then out into the mud to cool. And uh, these are the results. south of St. Louis, not far, so give Greg a call and uh, get yourself over there, it's a great thing to do, here's some uh, shots of what we collected. Back at Linda's, we tried using a turbo wand we bought from Ace to get these things clean, but that mud is just really incredibly stubborn. So uh, we have since invested in a um, 
pressure washer from Lowe's that produces 1,800 pounds, and that's much better. Here we're back at Linda's, um, and these are the things that we've cleaned up. Could still use a better cleaning, but that's druzy quartz and calcite, and that is a beautiful piece of uh, cold water agate with uh, quartz crystals inside. Really just beautiful, amazing stuff when it's cleaned up. You're, it's one thing to pull them out of the mud, and then it's another to get them cleaned up and see what's actually inside. Um, that's one of my favorites right there. So, yeah. And then there are pieces of um, where there are rocks in this uh, footage that we collected. I love that one. Um, from uh, Lincoln over at the Harry S. Truman State Park, and then over at uh, Joplin, which includes this piece of calcite and spherolite. Um, fascinating place we found to get these uh, rocks. So um, if you want me to disclose what we, where we went, um, you better email me, and then we'll talk. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, we just love what we do, and we hope you'll join us too.